Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slicky here on Daybreak, and we are fast approaching all the holidays. Included with that is Christmas, and lots of uh, presents are being purchased for children of all ages, soon to be seen underneath trees and all that. There has been, uh, for over at least 10 years, but maybe even longer, a great uh, tradition put on by the Shelton Rotary. I've got the president-elect in studio with me right now, Chris Swanson. Uh, good morning, Chris. Good morning. Thanks for coming on the air with me. Thank you for having me. Uh, got a note from current president Kyle Hackney about uh, an effort that uh, you guys have been kind of uh, wrapping up, although there are still more gifts uh, to deliver, and uh, you guys are helping give back to some uh, 50 folks in the community. Tell me a little bit about this program, how it works, and how you're able to uh, give back to so many folks. Well, as you mentioned, uh, for years and years now, we've had a great partnership with the local schools, and, and we work through the counselors there to identify families that are in need. Uh, and we actually get some lists of needs from those families, kids, the ages, and that kind of thing. Uh, and then we go out and we raise funds throughout the year, and we have a couple events that are specifically earmarked for our kids' Christmas giving. Uh, and then we actually go out on a Thursday, we buy all these gifts that we raised funds for and have all the lists of the families, uh, get together the following Saturday to wrap all those gifts and get them all ready to go, and, and then we get them delivered back to the schools. What's it like when you guys are shopping for the gifts and then you're sitting around and getting ready to wrap them up what what's the what's the mood in the group like it, it's kind of a guilty pleasure you know we we work really hard all year long on a lot of different events and i think for a lot of us this is our favorite one because we get to go and buy these things that we know these families probably wouldn't be able to get on their own and the atmosphere is great and it's going into the holidays for our own families as well and I know one of the things that I really appreciate is, is bringing my family with me and, and my children participate and you know I think that they get a lot out of it as well and uh, they also help us identify the right toys because we wouldn't want to get the wrong toys. No, no, no. So, That's great. Uh, so you're uh, able to start instilling those good rotary values young for the kids huh? absolutely that's awesome and then how does the delivery uh work well so we actually like i said we get them all wrapped up and uh, bagged for the schools and we deliver them back to the counselors and they're able to deliver them to the families prior to the christmas break so that obviously they have them in time and, uh, and that way they're going to the right people and the counselors know exactly who they should be going to what were the uh, fundraisers what are the fundraisers throughout the year that folks may be uh, familiar with that go to help this program? So we, every year, uh, when we do our budget, we definitely set aside the amount of money that we wanna do. Uh, and so some of the big ones is we have what we call our white elephant auction. Uh, and so every year we have an in rotary auction and we wrap up gifts that are anonymous gifts and we auction them off. Uh, we have a, a couple members that uh, just do an excellent job being auctioneers and we're goofy and you know we have a great time. Uh -huh. and, um, and we usually raise a couple thousand dollars doing that uh, and then we of course uh, are involved with local events in um, Oyster Fest sure. uh, and, and so we have our booth that, that we do at Oyster Fest and raise funds there uh, and just throughout the year we, we tend to collect a lot of money from members that want to contribute a little bit here and there on their own to this kind of thing. So a nice culmination a nice way to wrap up the year by giving back. Absolutely. What's uh, what's it like being in Rotary? I know you're coming in president-elect, so you're getting some big responsibilities. How long you been in Rotary, and what would be a, what would be something you'd tell somebody on the streets? Hey, you should get involved. Here's here's why. So it, this is an easy one for me. I've been in Rotary a little over six years. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, not a long time. We have members that have been in Rotary for 50 years. Wow. Um, and so, you know, it, it's pretty amazing group of people. I think the biggest takeaway for me is it's changed my life from the standpoint of community. You know, I, I'm from a different area and I've lived here now for about 10 years. And when I became part of Rotary, I really felt accepted. I was more connected to the immediate community. Um, and I realized that there's a whole bunch of amazing people out there that are just going about their business silently that, you know, it's really neat to be a part of. Uh, when do you meet? Where do you meet? Uh, we meet on Thursdays at noon at Smoking Moe's Magnolia Room. They have a, a beautiful little room next to the restaurant there, and, and that's where we get to meet every week. How many members, and uh, is everybody active? Or? We have currently um, just over 40 members or so, um, and everybody's pretty active. You know, we, like I said, we do a lot of events that take every... Uh, 
every hand that we have and, and then some we have a lot of family members that jump in and help and just uh, local community members that know members and, and they help as well so uh, it's pretty amazing so president-elect uh, uh, Kyle Hackney is gonna be what is the timeline on this one he's the current president so he'll be the president through June okay. um, and I'll make sure he works all the way through the very end of June very right good. Very good. <laughs> uh, but yeah and, and then I take over in July we actually have what we call our uh, president-elect uh, training coming up here that I get to attend a three-day seminar and, and that's always a really awesome event for the president-elect well so. very cool what a what a fun thing for to give back to the community and uh, seems like a fun club I had a great time with uh, Kyle and all the folks uh, during the uh, cooking competition at the yeah. Oyster Fest you can find out more about Shelton Rotary online Shelton Rotary all one word dot org or on the Facebook facebook.com slash Shelton Rotary Club and we'll put the links to those here in the show notes when we post this interview online. Well, Chris, thanks for coming on and talking about this. Thank you so much for having me.